how do you guys meet and form Off Piece Theatre? Um, so while I was on a National Youth Theatre course, um, I messaged Ben and Tibby about, well, let's just make something because there's so many fantastic directors here and actors. Let's bring something to the Southwest. Um, and they both said, yeah, we all met up for coffee. And that was it, really. When we first started up, we had um, quite a few, well, not quite a few members. We probably had about, I can't remember how many it was. Was it like eight or something? Eight, yeah. Yeah. Um, and our first project was Here We Are and Why. It was like a collection of uh, individual stories about like identity and just being a young yeah. person. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was basically centred around identity. Um, and, yeah, so we did that. And then, obviously, um, schools closed down, which was a bit of a pain. Archie decided to do a monologue bank as well during um, sort of lockdown, but when it was easing a little bit, which meant that we could still sort of put on something for people to see and showcase a bit of off-piste without having to put on a full production. So, yeah, the monologue bank was just us coming together, uh, writing a, I think it was like a, a four-minute piece or whatever uh, on whatever we wanted to talk about, and then Elliot would film it, edit it, and then we'd slowly release it as well, um, just as a sort of showcase of what we do. Well, he does live in London. Yes, but never forget where you come from. Your roots, they're important. Yeah, I guess. You okay? Yeah, fine, fine. Um, I've got a video call. I'll, uh, Why do you need a beer for a video call? Uh, takes the edge off. Okay, Munchkin. Shut up. What did you say? Nothing. My name's Archie. I'm 19 years old. Um, and I'm the sort of director of Off Piste. With our mate Max, I play various characters, predominantly Alex, who's Max's friend, um, and just sort of sees the deterioration of Max and is the other male model within the play. Where did the idea of the play come from? I saw a play called Seawall, and it was Andrew Scott's rendition of it, Simon Stevens' play, and it was all about like the pa passivity of men after something tragic happens um, in their life. And um, I thought I want to write something about young men in Dorset. I wrote it because I felt like I just wanted to write something and get something creative done. And then after I sent off my first application for Arts Council funding for a different project called Monologue Bank, I sent off more Arts Council funding for a research and development week for this play. I'm Ben. I may have mainly just acted in Off Piste. With our mate Max, I play Max and a few other characters. Max is a young man who is growing up. He's seeing his friends go out and sort of experience their life and start to make themselves in the world. And he feels as if he's not doing the right things. And that kind of bit of existentialism in there. And I think also addressing the kind of stereotypes that come along with masculinity there's things that are seen as unacceptable for men's to do mm. but there are also things that are almost justified because you're a man that shouldn't be justified which i think is something that we wanted to address my name is tibby morris i play quite a few different characters some of them are slightly over the top some of them are a bit more naturalistic i guess me being the only girl it does is actually kind of useful because it sort of um it gives the boys like a little bit of a 
outside view. So, for example, we've got one scene where it's actually roles reversed, but it's a gym. Um, and I play a really obnoxious gym lad, basically, who makes Ben really uncomfortable. Um, and I kind of pose that because to Archie, I was like, this is a problem I have at the gym all the time. Like, you get creepy men coming up to you. And um, yeah, but that was like a bit of comedy. And I guess it's just to sort of like, for people in the audience think think yeah that is so ridiculous like because when you re- reverse the roles like it looks so stupid i'm uh basically the sort of tech guy for our mate max i'm doing the lighting and some of the visual work and also some of the music work as well did you ha- have much of a, of a creative role like specifically just for example during the r d um like what was your role in that week I mean, my role in that week was mostly, was less creative, but I did um, chip in a little bit with ideas here and there, but it's very much um, Archie, Ben and Tibby's thing in terms of the, you know, the play itself. But I was, I mean, most of what I was doing that week was photos and things like that. Um, So I was just, you know, hovering around in the background, but it was really, really lovely to be is you know a great fun week and um and being able to make st- like make stuff at the moment is such a <laughs> absolutely yeah yeah no it was it was brilliant during the first year of sort of development with off piece i didn't really think that we were legible for um arts council funding purely because we were too new and i had no idea what i was doing one of the sort of goals of piece is to provide artistic professional development opportunities for young people So I wanted to find a way that we could get paid for our work, pay other people for the work and to make something which is theatrically viable. It was definitely very refreshing to be working on something that we're kind of passionate about again, rather than just either sitting inside or going to work. And it was very nice working alongside Archie, Tibby and Elliot again. Archie is an amazing writer and director. I think this is one of the first projects in a quite a while where I've been really, really invested in where it's going to be going i know also you play um, max's mum in the play don't you um are you hoping that for example if mothers do come to see the play that they can go oh i can now talk to my kids about the this in a new way yeah definitely i think um my relationship with max as his mum is quite laid back um we sort of joke around with each other uh, but then there's also moments of sort of like um emotional I don't know, there's moments of softness where I'll be like, oh, no, but you're you actually OK. And, you know, just little moments back and forth, um, which I think is the way it should be, really. So obviously the play is set in Dorset. Um, how did you find that experience of sort of, yeah, making a play here about Dorset and I guess that rural experience as well coming to the stage? I think it's it's been really cool just realising how much young talent there is in the area, but how sort of little opportunity there is for people to show it. Because I think almost everything that we've done or everything that we've used has been entirely made locally. Like a lot of the music Elliot had made, um, all the photography was done by either Elliot or another um, boy from Bridport called Dan. It's really refreshing to see that they are out there. They just, we need a way to show it. Yeah, we need to amplify those those regional voices. That's, yeah, definitely. I think it's actually really refreshing to see a play about young people written and created by young people. I think so yeah. often, uh, like, youth company shows and stuff is written by an adult who's kind of, like, obviously with good intentions and sometimes they're fantastic shows, but kind of an adult going, oh, I think this is what kids today are thinking. Yeah. So it's actually really refreshing to, yeah, to, for you guys to be, putting this provocation into the into the theatre ecology why should people see the play like why why is it important i feel that with the sort of term masculinity there's a lot of stereotypes that go around um and stereotypical phrases like boys can cry um go and seek help but a lot of the time that doesn't really help anybody in actually understanding the problem because it's just a blanket phrase so Arme max is more of an sort of urgent investigation into the topics that nobody really wants to talk about because they're icky like Mm. substance abuse um relationships uh, erectile dysfunction um suicidal thoughts and mental health um with instead of just saying go and talk to somebody it actually looks into friendships relationships and not necessarily how you can help but what happens when it sort of mental health breaks a bit too much 
Initially, during our first play, which was uh, Here We Are in One, just devising everything, we focused much more on movement than we were with Army Max, purely because it was our first time ever together as a company. And I wanted to break down the physical barrier between everyone so that you can make dialogue performances realistic. With Army Max and hopefully our performances in the future, um, I wanted to find meaning in movement. Um, so not just big lifts throwing each other around. Um, focus on the reality of physicality between different people and different relationships and what physicality you can find, whether that's heightened or subtle. I really enjoy the kind of combination of the two styles. It very much like gives us enough room that we can sort of produce a story in quite a linear, like normal way, but still make it very interesting and have parts that the meaning's less inferred. It's a lot more symbolic. We're not in any way specialised with dancing. We literally are just sort of like developing moves and just using them. Um, and I just really like that because I think it's not very common in um, to see a physical theatre piece crossed with uh, a naturalistic piece. Obviously, you've got frantic assembly and stuff. Um, but it's generally, especially down here in Dorset, you don't really get that. It's either sort of naturalistic or like over the top. To be honest, it's not really like anything... I've personally seen before like mm. like it's it's similar to certain things but I think it's its own thing it's excited like it's very much its own thing yeah and that's that's what really excites me about it to be honest is it is I haven't you know there might well be be things like it but I I personally haven't seen anything mm. that's done it in this style before um which is why I think it's so refreshing Thank you.